So hello YouTube, what I will be showing you today is how to install Flash Player in 2021 and further on and how to play Flash games. Now before I start I do need to make this disclaimer, this is not the brightest idea. There are security issues and uh, Flash Player is at the end of the lifetime, you know, so uh, you know, Adobe decided not to support it anymore. So having said what I've said, let's start. There are a couple of dependencies that you will need and uh, I actually have, uh, I downloaded the Flash Player here from techspot.com. I will be leaving in the zip file all of the dependencies you will need. However, if you do not trust my server, you can always download them from uh, well somewhere else. And this is the software called iSwish, which I will be downloading as well because we will be needing this thing. So download, save file, and uh, I do actually have this zip in here. So let's drag and drop it to the desktop and uh, I do not need the browser anymore. So let's extract it just by double clicking. Now I will be deleting this. So we have dependencies. Okay. I do have a game in here which is Super Mario 63 which is actually not working at the moment I believe. Okay, open it. Let's see what will happen. So nothing will happen. Just a second to quit. What if I drag and drop? Will this thing work out of the box? So yeah, as you can see, when I click on it, nothing happens. And nothing happens because Flash is uh, out of date. So you know what? I think I did not uninstall because I was actually testing it, but I will be showing you anyway. So uh, double click on the Flash Player icon and choose open and install it. I do need to enter the password, which is the which is in this case one two three four because I've changed the password. So let's install this thing. So let's go to the desktop. And uh, before I continue, I will be leaving everything in the description down below, so there is no need for you to. Um, okay, I don't need to restart the browser, but I won't be using any browser, so we can actually uh, exit, whatever. Um, so let's, uh, we don't need to create a file called, uh, for example, game, so vi game dot command, command, whatever. So uh, I will be pressing I and now we are in the insert mode. So uh, I will be creating a variable called password, so password, and again this thing will be in the description down below, so there is no need, ah, oh, bloody hell, will it be equal, seriously. Oh, equal, and this is my current password. Now I did change the original password to one two three four, just so that uh, I can show you this thing. Um, yeah, just a second. So um, next thing we need to do is echo, and I'll be showing you why. So string, sorry, string, and now I need these two passwords, and I do need pipe. Just a second, I believe this one is pipe. Yes. So uh, pipe sudo minus s, which is the standard input. Now what I'm doing is actually, uh, so I've, I've created a variable called password and I'm uh, forwarding that password to sudo minus s. So basically just like I'm entering the password, I'll be showing you why. Um, uh, because, uh, sorry. Uh, and, uh, and uh, because otherwise you'll have to uh, enter the uh, password uh, always and uh, we don't want to do that since this is a script now bear in mind you can uh, modify the script for uh, multiple games whatever you can even start swish and then create a timeout of i don't know for example 15 seconds and you can drag and drop the games in it but again i'm doing this thing for my mom so uh, it will be like this anyway so uh, we'll, we'll we'll need to change the date minus uh, so date minus u which is utc and what we have is here month, which is let's say fifth month. Then we have day. And then we have an um, hour, minute, and year. So 11 uh, to 5 to oh, 4 example. And we'll be outputting uh, this thing, everything to slash dev slash null. And, uh, and the reason we're doing this thing because uh, we do not want to have anything on the display. So not uh, you know we don't we don't want to have anything displayed for example password and strings and whatnot 
Anyway, uh, so we need to, uh, the next thing we do. So we with this line we have changed the uh, the uh, with this line we have sorry I'm a bit of in rush with this line we have changed the uh, date uh, to something that was uh, well in 2020. So the next thing we need to do is actually open Swish. So open minus a. Um, I uh, uh, Swift, which is this app dot app. Sorry. And we, and we need to uh, open the game, which is in this case uh, SM's, uh, this one, sm63game.swf. So let's copy this thing. Can I paste that? That would be awesome. Yes, yes, I can. And now here it is the idea. We need to make uh, some kind of timeout uh, so that that game has enough time to start. So uh, we'll be pinging ourselves. So uh, minus C, which is, I believe, count five, localhost. So this is basically a well five seconds timeout, and again we do not want that thing to you know prompt. So slash dev slash now as well, and uh, again now that we have started the game we do need to have our date back. So uh, I will be changing the date uh, again with the uh, echo command. So a uh, string um, password password. Password and uh, oh, sorry, this is the creation keyword. Damn it! Like this, okay. And again, sudo minus s. Now here it is the idea. Uh, uh, in this line, I will be using snmp, um, and I will be supplying it with the uh, my uh, NTP server. Well, not mine, mine, but mine creation. So obviously, you can use I don't know like timewindows.com or whatever. I'm using re.ntp.carnet.hr, which is, well, to be honest, the one that's closest uh, to me because I live in Rijeka, obviously. And that is basically it. The script is done. Now I will be pressing escape, column right quit. And here it is the idea. Uh, we have this uh, game.command, which, which was just created in here. Now we do need to make it executable. So chmod plus x, which is executable, game.command. And that's basically it. If I double click, the game should work. Okay, the okay, so as you can see, yeah, we do need to enter the desktop. Ah oh, bloody hell. Just a second. Again, VI. And I will be just pressing I to enter in the uh, insert mode. So CD desktop okay right quit and if i start the game it should run sorry just by double clicking okay password enable to find application i swift what the hell i see damn it so again um spell check is a good idea i guess um so i s sorry we need to enter insert mode i uh swift Okay, and I think this should work now. Okay, so the game, there you have it. It's starting and it is working. And basically, um, you can start uh, with uh, this script any game and it should work. And again, this is not the brightest idea, but it does work. So I hope this video helped somebody. If it did, you know, a thumbs up and subscription and whatever would be nice. If you dislike this video, well, you know what to do. Uh, and uh, yeah, until the next time. Again, sorry for it is... Uh... Oh, okay, just a second. Now my time did not sync back because... Uh, what the hell did I just write? As you can see, now the game is starting, but as you can see, time is not okay. So I wrote something wrong. So let's uh, edit the, the uh, script. Uh, SNTP, not SNMP. Sorry, I've been working with the uh, uh, APCs and whatnot, and uh, I think this should probably work. So let's see. So again, this game is starting, and uh, okay, and as you can see, uh, the uh, date is back. So uh, yeah, uh, again, I will be posting uh, everything in the description down below, uh, and for example. Uh, you can modify this uh, script to, uh, let's say, uh, VI. 
and we can create another variable so for example let me press in uh, i and i can create a, a variable for example game game equals and uh, in here you can uh, enter the path or whatever so you do, do not need to actually go to the desktop uh, itself so for example uh, sorry game equals for example slash i believe this is like users slash i believe vlad slash desktop slash uh, so this uh, this game uh, copy and paste and i can actually write uh, i can actually change this uh, game dot uh, sw f to uh, string uh, open close uh, game and now I think this thing should work. Let's see. I don't want to cancel. Sorry. Escape. Column. Oh, let's quit. Let's see whether this thing will work. It should work. Yeah. So uh, you can actually have this script for uh, multiple games. And all you need to do is actually enter the path of the game and whatnot. And that's basically it. That's how my mother is playing Tetris and Bubble Mania. Something like that. So yeah. Uh, until the next time. Again, even this uh, re entropy carnet higher uh, can be changed into, let's say, for example, uh, uh, sorry, I NTP server, server uh, equals so carnet HR. So uh, this is a bit of <laughs> I would say uh, upgrade yeah but this thing is uh, actually working so uh, I think this is kind of cool now you do need to have third party um, sorry let me edit this thing uh, NTP server. Uh, you, you do need to have third party software but then again since since it is not in your browser I guess uh, you kind of uh, perhaps uh, bypass the you know security issues and uh, whatnot and i believe i can actually delete this thing and i will need to change my password oh, okay um, escape um, all right quit now let's see whether this thing is actually working so password is entered the game is actually starting and the date itself uh, changed back to normal so yeah uh, again that's it uh, until the next time have a good day and uh, yeah bye bye